Starting today is Cole Ramage. Cole Ramage has a ton of experience coming into his junior season. A guy that will sit about 88 to 92 at that fastball. Really good sink, and when he's on, Brett, a lot of ground balls out of the right-hander. Monday, Yake, Harris, and Rando. Then it's Sullivan, Hughes, Lund. It is the coach's kid, Maktoff, and then Marenko and Bristian. And we're underway at a 39-degree afternoon. Trying to keep Harris honest. That one hit hard, and into center, the game's first hit. Hughes was just carved up. Opitz has to complete the strikeout with a throw to Austin. So Ramage worked around a hit batter and a single. Gonzaga left-hander Keaton Knipple. Beginning his warm-up tosses, ready to make his first start since 2018. Yeah, I see the big thing coming off Tommy John's surgery. Webb back on top of Kerstad hitting second today, and then Goodhart third. Casey Martin moves up to the cleanup spot. Franklin goes from second to fifth. Then it's Nesbitt, Opitz, Austin, and Robert Moore rounding out the starting nine for Dave Van Horn. Simply because they just haven't seen much of him because of injuries. What they've seen in the first, pretty good. Pitch. Opitz has a chance to make the play, and he will. He was beginning, and I'm not sure if it was just throwing. There's a ball that will drop in for a base hit, the first hit, first base runner as Nesbitt provides a two-out single. Sent down the left field line, and that one's fair. Dropping in front of Maktoff. Opitz with a wide turnaround first. Nesbitt did not go to third. The payoff is low, ball four. And the bases are loaded. That one hit fair into the corner. He'll score two and maybe more. Austin will hold at third base, and Robert Moore's two-run double has put the Razorbacks in front in the second inning. Chopper to short. Yake's throw is a little bit low, but scooped by Hughes, and that saved two runs from scoring. You know, maybe starting some midweek games or definitely used out of the bullpen. That experience, and also Kevin Copps. The top 20 draft prospects in the conference. This one in the air a long time. The winds will work it back to the fence, and it's gone. Harris finds the bullpen. Yake was standing on first base. Harris nearly passed him. But you see where this pitch is. That is belt high. Ramage is consistently missing up in the strike zone, and a guy that when he's got his most success gets Finding the strike zone. He pounds the zone again. This one, though, is going to hit the base. We're also seeing him handling pitchers and digging balls out of the dirt in this inning alone as Ramage gets the kick. When he would come out right around four, five, six innings. Hard hit on the ground, base hit left field. So Lund, two on, two out, two in. See if this will end the inning. Webb camped underneath it. And the third comes to a conclusion. Before and after. Kerstad got a pitch up in the zone and spanks one to center that'll drop for a base hit. His eighth in 14 at bats. Strike to avoid seeing the wheels in motion. Was that a swing? No, ball four. And the bases are loaded. Well, that was a vicious check swing by Franklin. Boy, Little Fister dribbling towards second one play. That's first. Kerstad will score, and the Racerbacks are back in front. I'm not sure Bristian sees this baseball. He's going to come sprinting in here. My goodness. The ball will drop, and he didn't see it. And to score. And Austin with the wave and a miss to end the third inning. It was a bit of a strange third by Anthony Servidio. They had lost just once to a SWAC team in school history. This one carrying back. Franklin can't get there. Marenko is going to have extra bases. He's not going to stop at second. He will have 
a stand-up triple. Regional that East Carolina hosted. It's on the ground to Martin. Run will score as Martin throws out Bristian. Not that one had some drop and some sink. Backhanded by Martin, strong throw, dug by Austin. Got him there. Three-pitch strikeout. Pretty good inning for Naughton. Carves up the Hawks in order. Cops has been in since getting the final out in the third inning. That one is fair. Down the line and left. Ryan Sullivan will have a double. How difficult that they've done. Left five men on base. That one is called fair. Nesbitt went diving into foul territory. Sullivan is going to score. Hughes on his way to second. A stand-up double, and this is a one-run game. How about you? Well, yes, I have. There's a chopper into the hole. Martin, let's watch him make a great play. The throw's a little bit offline. The throw to third is not in time. Good base running by Sullivan. Dribble a little bit. Dribbler towards first. Picked up by Austin, but a run will score. I think he was in hopes of maybe cutting down Hughes at the plate. Against Arkansas. And that one is going to be caught. Traveled right to Franklin. Ended the fifth inning. Just got to know his bat speed is so quick that he can sit back and have an extra split second, but he is just vulnerable to that slider down and away, and he got him right there. That plate in half, maybe look everything middle in. Chop towards Jake. And he went with a bare hand and can't get it. Infield base hit for Franklin, a do-or-die play. Not running. It's a fastball hit hard to third. Harris. Able to come up with it. Good stretch from Hughes. Break. Their first step was amazing. Harris did well for himself with a two-run homer earlier. That's off the glove of Nesbitt. Martin has a chance to make a play. Safe at first. Where the runners go. Throw to third a little bit high and safe. Oh, Pitts will have to wear two caught stealings in that sequence, even though Rando went down on strikes. Good pitch there. That one, the third time was a charm. That one's strike three. The inning ends. No pitch check, but a pitch was called strike three. It's not off the charts, but you know, you can't just sit breaking ball. He'll beat you. Like that pitch right there. Back to back strikeouts. Hit a runner in scoring position since the third inning. Liner to second. Marenko with the catch. And Arkansas down in order. Like, hey, as a freshman, we didn't hit him and he wasn't throwing strikes. Opitz will have to throw this to first to complete the strikeout. Three straight Ks now for Caden Mupp. Yeah. Started 29 games a year ago. Hits that one sharply right to Moore. There's one. There's two. They will now base it right field. Kerstad heads to third. And there's Racerbacks on the corners with one out in the seventh. Goodhart not going. Pitch is down, and the bases are loaded. And that sequence from Casey Martin, I know he missed the hanger. Poke towards second. Can the Zags get two? There's one. The relay. Safe is Franklin. And the Razorbacks have taken the lead by an eyelash. See the feed. The shortstop and boy that's a, that's a bang bang play they're gonna they're gonna look at that one they're gonna bring that one back he's safe I think he is that one kicks away good heart home to score run number seven and the wild pitch will provide the extra point for the Hawks eating over Hawks get a pair on we go to the eighth. It's a 7-5 Razorback lead. Neon towel of his that he waves. Off the hands. Martin will charge. This is probably the play Casey's at his best. Showing off that speed. Hitting over. Nice job. There's a the base hit. Fourth of this young season in four games for Austin. Smoke towards right. The shift may end up working. Marenko made the play, and the inning ends, and the Razorbacks strand a couple of runners. So on we go to the ninth inning. Zags need two to top. 
Hard hit. Big shoe. Easy flip. One out. Another one hard hit. Martin laid out. Got a glove on it. Infield base hit. K High drive. Deep left. Webb on the track. Not today. He's not even thinking about that runner at first base right here. Well, that one's sent to the gap, and Kerstad was playing deep. They'll let Sullivan go to third to keep Lund at first. Tying runs are on base, and the go-ahead run coming to the plate. Zone. Ground ball to Shorts. This will end it. CV with the save, and the Razorbacks hold on to win game one, 7-5 over Gonzaga.